CD Projekt Red recently gave an entire strategy update for their entire studio. And in this video, we're going to go through everything you need to know. But just before we do get into all of that, please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content just like this. Are you interested in starting your very own Discord server, but you just simply don't know where to start? Well, I've got you covered. I've been using Discord daily for many, many years now, and in that time I've created and managed many servers, some of which have achieved over 5,000 active members. I've worked with YouTubers with over 150,000 subscribers and even cryptocurrency organisations. So whatever the server may be, I can confidently say that I'll be able to create and even manage an active server for your community. These servers will include really popular features and a very professional design. And if you want the best of the best, I can even throw in your very own custom Discord bot. So if you are interested in getting started or have any questions, then hit the link in the description or the pinned comment that will take you straight to my Fiverr page. So this entire strategy update from CDPR is basically just to look at the long term side of things for CD Projekt Red as a whole in what games they're going to be releasing and the overall development for the studio. So, first of all, The Witcher franchise has sold over 65 million copies, which is an insane number. And Cyberpunk 2077 has sold over 20 million copies, and considering that's just the one game, that is very impressive. A big thing that CDPR mentioned is that they are doing parallel AAA development, which started in 2022. This means that they are developing The Witcher franchise alongside the Cyberpunk franchise, which is two AAA games. So they're developing them alongside each other and they're not just working on one at a time. This is really nice to see and it just means that the overall development will be able to run a lot more smoothly since they won't be having to work on one thing and then move on to the next. They're able to do things side by side. Hopefully this does mean that in the future we will be seeing less delays from CDPR, but obviously that's just a guess at this stage. One of the big goals that they seem to have at the moment is expanding on their current franchises. So whether that means a new Witcher game, which has already been announced, and we will get into that in a bit, but they've also announced a new Cyberpunk game, or well, they've not really announced it, but sort of just confirmed that they're working on one, if that makes sense. Something that I talked about in a previous video is CDPR and their Netflix, and something they mention here is that they sort of have a chain that they go in when they release the game. First of all, they start by releasing the video game, which is the main part. Then they produce it into a TV and film or any sort of series. And in Cyberpunk's case, we got an anime. And I do have a video going over that and a link to that can be found in the description below. And then they actually move on to a mobile game, then books and comics, and then partnership and merchandise. And then they go back to the video games. So this is a sort of chain that they go in with each game that they release. This is really nice and it definitely helps the game and the franchise as a whole grow. They then confirmed that there are over 350 employees currently involved in the development of the Phantom Liberty DLC for Cyberpunk 2077. This will be releasing next year on Xbox Series X and S, PS5 and PC. Now it does also say here Stadia, but obviously I don't really think that's going to happen after the recent news we got with Stadia closing. So yeah, it looks like it will just be for the next gen consoles and PC. Now, something that really stands out to me is their work on the Witcher franchise. Now, they do confirm here that they have two projects currently in pre-production for the Witcher series. And one of these is called Project Sirius, an innovative take on the Witcher universe, telling an unforgettable story for existing Witcher fans and new audiences. This current project stage is in pre-production and it is developed by the Molasses Flood, supported by CDPR, and there are currently over 60 employees involved. So obviously this is in very early stages, as you can tell, but it's nice to see that this is in the works. We then have Project Polaris, and this is a story-driven open-world RPG built on the legacy of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And this is also currently in pre-production, and this is developed just by CDPR, with over 150 employees already involved. This will be the beginning of a brand new Witcher trilogy, and this was the news that we already had when they announced the new Witcher game a while back. And something that I think is insane is that they plan to release three games within this trilogy in a six-year period. So that's, I don't know, they're going to have to work very, very fast if they want to live up to that. And I think that is very, very impressive. Not sure if they'll be able to pull it off, but to be able to release three new Witcher games in a six year period, I think is insane. Obviously, we're definitely a long way off getting the first one, but it's pretty insane to see that the first one won't be the last. There's going to be another two after that. They might not be in the six year period, but we're still 
looks like we're going to be getting another two after the next Witcher game. Now there is also a story driven single player open world RPG set within the Witcher universe which is currently also in pre-production. This is by a third party studio led by ex-Witcher veterans so this is sort of going to be a Witcher themed game. We don't really have any other news about that at the moment but that is really cool to see that we're getting that as well. Now the main bit of new news that we have here is that there is going to be a Cyberpunk 2077 sequel that will prove the full power and potential of the Cyberpunk universe universe now i'm not sure if this is because of the sort of rough start that cyberpunk 2077 got and they sort of want to move on but it looks like once this phantom liberty dlc releases next year that will be it for cyberpunk 2077 and then they'll move on to the next game no idea when this will release we don't have any news other than this is project orion so yeah that's all we really have at the moment and this is developed by the cd project red team we don't know how many people are currently working on this but yeah that's all we really know at the moment so back to what i said in the beginning about development maybe being a bit quicker cdpr are actually building a new studio in north america which is really nice to see and this basically means that there'll be a new team in the cdpr group so yeah this should just help with development overall we've also got the news that cdpr are working on a brand new franchise this is a new standalone ip distinct from the witcher and cyberpunk 2077 this is developed 100 percent internally and is currently just in the conceptual phase by a small strike team but this is really cool to see that we're going to be getting something other than cyberpunk and the witcher and yeah this is really nice and cdpr always seem to nail the actual franchise so that's really nice to see we don't really have any other news other than what i've just said but yeah this is really cool to see so the overall long-term product outlook for cdpr is this there's going to be the three new witcher titles then on the cyberpunk side of things there is going to be phantom liberty a cyberpunk 2077 expansion and then there is going to be the new cyberpunk title which is completely by cd project red and then of course like we just mentioned there is going to be the new ip which also done completely internally by cdpr so those are the three main things that we have on the cdpr side of things at the moment now something I find really interesting here is that CDPR say they're going to be introducing multiplayer to most of their new games to enrich the single player experience. Now if I was to compare this to something, it would probably be something like what Rockstar Games have done with their GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. No idea how this could work, it could just be with The Witcher where there's a card game, maybe that'll be multiplayer. But there's not really any way of knowing how multiplayer will work and for what games this will be for. So yeah, we could get a Witcher game with some multiplayer and maybe the new Cyberpunk game will have multiplayer as well. But obviously this is very early stages at the moment so that's all the news we have on that at the moment is that there will be some multiplayer involved in some of the new titles later down the line they also go on to mention that it does look like they will be continuing with the whole netflix side of things for their new games and cyberpunk edge runners has worked out really really well and they do say that that is a fine example of achieving the transmedia synergy and yeah that is definitely definitely correct because cyberpunk edge runners has definitely helped cyberpunk 2077 grow so at the end of this strategy update, CDPR mentioned three key takeaways. They say that they're working on three franchises, more content for gamers with memorable single player stories and multiplayer experiences, and lastly, mobile, TV and film and more in association with external partners. So there we go, that was the entire strategy update from CD Projekt Red. Unfortunately, we didn't get any news related to the Witcher next gen, which I really would have liked, but unfortunately this really wasn't the place where we got that. But we also didn't get any sort of news on a delay, so that is still expected to arrive by the end of the year, and I will keep you guys all updated on that whenever we get any new news. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this strategy update down in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content just like this. And if you are interested in starting your very own Discord server, then please check out the link in the description or the pinned comment. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.